All right, lads and lasses, settle down, settle, and we go through this one more bloody time now. I thought we got through to his last August when another lad couldn't count how many houses he has. Now I find a lad didn't know he had a house at all. Like, where was he living? I don't bloody know. But if the farm asks his lad, we're politicians. We have to be seen to be above the ordinary people. We have to be seen to be honest. So if the farm asks you, have you got a house? Think long and clear about it now. And do you have a house? Oh, God, I do. Yes, I have a house. Or don't you have a house? No, I don't have a bloody house. Is as simple as that. If you have a house, you have uh, a slaughtered house. Is a sla Can you live in a bloody slaughtered house? You're for animals. And Although I look at a lot of dung that goes on around here, I wonder about you sometimes, you know. What about my it, villa in the south of France? I don't care if it's a villa in the south of France. It's a house. Yeah, but it's a very big villa. I don't care how big a villa it is. It's still a house you've got to put it down at the bloody farm. I built a small block of apartments. Yes, a block of apartments. Whether it's 150 or 200, maybe even 1,000 apartments. I don't care. Put down 1,000 in the bloody thing, you know. Oh, <laughs> whatever. Ryan's greenhouse. Ah, look, don't be bloody smart, Joe. A greenhouse isn't a house. You know, and the Greens don't live in greenhouses. Anyway, in fairness, look at that. I'm stressed out. I can't take much more. Please be honest. We make the laws, don't break the laws. We make the laws, don't break the laws. Please get that into your head for the next time because I don't want any more distress, all right? Now, off with you and fill out the bloody forms properly. Oh. <sighs>